Hey everyone, this is Tristan from Amazopia.com, the unofficial Amazon blog, and in this video I'm going to show you how to listen to MP3s on your Kindle Touch and what that experience is like. Um, so to turn it on, you press the button at the bottom. And I think that playing MP3s on the Kindle Touch is one of the things that it does best. Uh, I, I don't like it for reading, for reading. I don't like it for reading PDFs. I don't like it for web browsing all that much. But it, it is a good MP3 player. So if that's important to you, then uh, then that's good. Also in this video, I'll show you how the uh, how the audiobook uh, player works. So to get, to get to the MP3 player, go up here to menu, tap it and go down to the bottom experimental and then mp3 player and I just have one song on here uh, that I'll play and you can see this little mp3 player pops up on the bottom I don't know if you can see that very well but it says track one of one and then gives you the uh, the song title and the artist you can go forward or backward, you can pause it. It doesn't look like there's a random feature, there's not a repeat feature. You can adjust the volume. You can have the music on while you're reading or browsing the web if that's important to you. So let's press play and you can hear the sound quality. And I'll adjust the music here, or adjust the volume here. Turn it up. And I'll I turned it down. And there is a, a headphone jack on the bottom here in case you want to listen in a quiet place. And so I'll turn that off. And that's the MP3 player. Very simple, but it works. And now let's um, let's go back to the menu. No, let's go back to the to the home page. This is the home button down here. It took me a while to figure that out. I thought that was a speaker instead of a button, but that is the uh, the home button on the Kindle. So I have an audible audio book on here. I've got Catching Fire, which is the second book in the Hunger Games series. Um, I'll tap that, and you can hear what that sounds like, and uh, hear um, and and see how the the uh, control for that works. So you can see here it's it's pretty similar. Um, here are the chapters right here. You can see how long the chapters are, and you can skip from chapter to chapter. Uh, I'll press play. I'll turn the volume up. Scholastic Audiobooks presents Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. Read by Carolyn McCormick. That's pretty simple. Uh, you can skip forward 30 seconds or back 30 seconds. These buttons here on the end, the forward and back button, skip chapters. And again, there's the, the headphone jack in case you want to listen to the ebook uh, by yourself in a quiet place. So that's the uh, audio portion of, um, of the Kindle Touch. I guess while I'm recording this video, I might as well show you how the text-to-speech works too. So let's open up a Kindle ebook here, and uh, we'll see if this is text-to-speech enabled. Go up to menu. Okay, this one is not text-to-speech enabled, so uh, we can't do that. There is. I know I have an ebook on here that is text-to-speech enabled. This PDF is. So, go up to the top, to menu, and then turn on text to speech, and you'll you'll hear it start. For this manifesto will change the way you think about higher education. If you've ever been frustrated with school, the next 20 web pages will prepare you to take your education outside of the classroom and change the world. Even if you're currently enrolled in college, this report will help you understand the benefits of learning in the real world to complement classroom instruction. You'll learn why the value of the college degree Okay, trying to pause it. It's not working very well. Academic nation. I'll introduce you to the basics of lifelong learning and help you make the world into your classroom. Fine.
That's why I don't like the Kindle Touch. The touch screen is just a little bit not very responsive and it's annoying. But you, I don't know if you saw, but you can uh, switch it between a male and female robot voice. The male voice sounds better, I think. And then you can slow it down or speed it up depending on, on your preferences. So uh, that Those are the audio capabilities of the Kindle Touch. Um, like I said, we went over the MP3 player capability, the audiobook capability, and the text-to-speech capability. And they all work passably well, but none of them are, are all that great. Um, except maybe the audiobook one. That, that option works pretty darn well. Um, but uh, the Kindle Touch is probably my least favorite Kindle from Amazon. If you want to play audiobooks and, and MP3s and stuff like that, get the Kindle Fire. It's much better. If you want to just read, get uh, the Kindle for, or the regular Kindle. I hope that was helpful, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos here on YouTube, and uh, visit amazopia.com. Thanks.